it was a, a criminal gang in Chicago in the 1960s called the Vice Lords, right? The term didn't mean that they were committing lots of moral vices, though I'm sure they did occasionally, right? It meant that once you were in, we had you like you're in a vice. Mm. It, was a, it, was a, it was a strength of brotherhood term, not a sort of moral corruption term, right? So the thing about the vice lords, a very, very dangerous part of uh, Chicago in the 60s. And if you were an unaffiliated young, it was African-American community, unaffiliated young male, that you were not in a, in a gang, you were really in danger, right? to other predation by other gangs. They would rob you. They would beat you up, whatever. You were in danger. You had to join a gang to stay safe. Once you joined that gang, you owed your life to that gang, and everybody did. And if you failed, that the, the, the litmus test of being a vice lord was that there were constant fights and fracases and shootings and knifing. I mean, it was a very violent time, right? And the, one of the litmus tests of being a vice lord, I mean, you fail this, like you're really in trouble, is if you see another vice lord in a fight, even if he's completely outnumbered, if you don't run to his aid, you are not a vice lord. There's that a completely functional definition of what it means to be a vice lord is you run towards the fight if any of your brothers are in danger. And if you go the other way, by definition, you're not a vice lord. And what they did with those guys, they didn't beat them up. They didn't, nothing. They put them in the back of a car and they drove them to the heart of enemy territory of some rival gang and they just pushed them out of the car. 